All right, we're still in chapter one, all right? We're looking at the last section of the chapter one. We're talking about financial statements. Financial statements are extremely important to understand and know because the, ultimately that is why we do financial accounting, is to communicate to our external users. So I'm sharing my screen right now, <clears throat> and you see that it is B. Smith Monopoly Inc., okay? I made these because I play Monopoly and then I do financial statements when I do it. It's kind of fun. Um, and I more, more than likely encourage you to do that. If you have any questions on that, let me know, okay? I did this in May of 2022, but the bottom line is here's my income statement, okay? And this is just something I want you to become familiar with. More than likely, you, you, you'll be kind of starting to deal with building these financial statements. It's not that hard, as long as you know which accounts go on which financial statements. So our income statement, we have revenues and expenses only. That's all we put on our income statement. We take our revenues, we add all of our revenue together and get a total for revenues. Then we take all of our expenses, okay, and total up those expenses. Subtract expenses from our revenue and we're gonna get our net income. Don't worry about this gain on exchange. It's just, you know, what I, how I play it, okay? But bottom line, revenues minus expenses is net income. That goes on the income statement. That's what you need to know about this, okay? Then we're gonna go to the statement of owner's equity. It's the second uh, financial statement. You know, I should probably zoom in on this now that I think about it. I don't know how much you guys can see. Um, statement of owner's equity is the second financial statement that we create. The income statement is the first statement that we create, okay? You don't do these out of order. If you do, you will not be able to complete them correctly. So second one is the statement of owner's equity. We start off with the beginning balance. When I start Monopoly, I don't have any money. But when we actually divvy out the, the beginning balances, we get $1,500, okay? Two 500s, two 100s, two 50s, six 20s, five 10s, five fives, and five ones equals 1,500. It's like I've contributed $1,500 to be in this company of Monopoly where I'm playing, okay? Then I'm gonna add the net income, which is what we calculated over here, 13,173. 13,173. So my total amount of my equity that I have increased by is 14,673. Then I simulated taking $500 out just for the sake of taking $500 out to show it. And my ending balance is 14,173. Then I go to the balance sheet. The balance sheet's gonna have every other account that was not put on the income statement or the statement of owner's equity. I'm gonna list all of my assets, which here is the cash, I play it with accounts receivable, uh, property, buildings, you know, there could be other assets. Uh, I didn't have any liabilities. I didn't owe anybody money, uh, although we do play it that way. Um, and then I bring my capital account over here. I add up all my assets for 14,173 and look at what I calculated as my ending balance here, 14,173. That is when you know you've done everything correctly. When you add up all your assets and then take your liabilities and add it to your equity and they both match. Uh, let me zoom in again, I apologize. 14,173, 14,173. That's how these financial statements flow. Now there's one more financial statement, but you do not need to know this for accounting 111. You will learn how to do this statement in accounting 112 if you need to take it, um, or if you wanna take it, it's a fun class. Uh, it's the cash flow statement or the statement of cash flows, okay? That's going to take this 5,638 and explain how we got to there from whatever balance it was. So let's say I was at a zero balance and now I'm at 5,638. I'm gonna have to explain every penny of how that went up. Now, does that mean, oh, well, just explain the difference, how it got to 5,638. No, you do several transactions and it does change and it's, it's a lot of math and it's a lot of fun math. It's adding and subtracting. It's not anything to be threatened by, but it's a lot of fun. I love doing cash flow statements and I know that I will learn, <laughs> I will learn you how to have fun with them too. Um, anyways, no, just, just know that the cash flow exists, the statement of cash flow exists, don't need to worry about calculating it, okay? Um, that, those are our financial statements and, and uh, is the, the last section in the chapter one of uh, Accounting 111. So hopefully that helps. Um, okay, good luck. And uh, if you have any questions, you know how to shoot me the emails, okay? Or the text or whatever.